I'm Brittany Umar. Welcome to The Nooner, presented by The Village Poorhouse. We're hanging out at The Poorhouse today to celebrate our New York baseball teams acquiring 1,000 pounds of pitching. Hey, new guys, they have a great food menu here if any of you are interested. CC is on board in the Bronx to the tune of seven years and $161 million. He also got an opt-out clause after three years, which he promises not to use when the Red Sox are playing in the World Series in 2011. Obviously, there's been a lot of talk concerning the fact that CC may not have actually wanted to sign with the Yankees. But four things turn the tide. One, a shitload of money. Two, his old Cleveland buddy LeBron James said, hold on, dude, I'm almost there. We'll hang out the poorhouse every night. Three, when Brian Cashman walked into CC's house, he admitted that he saw the house on MTV's Cribs a few years back. CC immediately said, Cash, you're my dog. Finally, four, a shitload of money. Yesterday, the Mets acquired J.J. Putz, among others, in a 12-player deal. The deal initially caused some confusion when, upon seeing the headline, Mets get Putz, Plaxico Burris showed up at City Field. Oh, it's Putz? Oh, sorry about that. Either way, Plax is still a Putz. This show is too short to list all the details of the trade, but the highlights are that Mets get Putz, reliever Sean Green, no, not that one, and a spare part outfielder, no, not that one. Uh, hey, Super Joe, how are ya? Putz was not the biggest improvement the Mets made to their bullpen yesterday, as they shipped Aaron Heilman to Seattle in the deal. The only hiccup in the deal is transportation, as there's no way to guarantee Heilman can get to the West Coast without a meltdown, burnout, or train wreck. New Mets closer K-Rod toured City Field yesterday, as you can see here. The audio is a little rough, but you can hear Mets COO Jeff Wilpon say, get some sleep. What you couldn't hear was Mets trainer Ray Ramirez tell the SUV driver, don't go anywhere near the freaking LQ. Free agent Manny Ramirez is allegedly upset about the lack of interest in his services and has told friends he might retire if he doesn't get a suitable offer. He also told friends that he spends most of his time working out, watching cartoons, and playing video games. So basically, someone better give him a six-year deal or he'll stop working out. Meanwhile, the Yankees will reportedly trade Melky Cabrera to the Brewers for Mike Cameron, assuming the Brewers can follow Ferris Bueller's advice and let my Cameron go. That's it from the Poor House. A programming note, we're off tomorrow. It may or may not be because we're hanging out in a bar on a Thursday morning, but either way, see you Monday. Let's do a shot for CC, K-Rod, and Putz. I mean, Plax. Wait, is it Putz?